Hi everyone and welcome back to our quest series. In this episode we're continuing to work on our quest log UI. This time we're going to be adding our object objectives of the quest to that screen. Showing the objective titles and their values. So let's get started. Okay so to get started with our objectives let's first of all go recap on how they work. We have mentioned them before, let's go through it again. So there's a, such a thing called an objective ID. On our quest data we have opened up our stage and inside our stage here we've got the objective ID for each objective. This ID is unique to each objective okay, and that's what's going to be used to check whether or not we have a quest that relates to that objective ID. If it does, it will tick it off from the to-do list. So in this example we've got a location but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to an interaction because we've already got that set up um, in our player character which I'll show in a second. So I'm just going to change the objective name here to interacting with things and we'll change the name of this uh, description of this way to be saying uh, ooh, um, interact with the strange object and the type for this is going to be an interaction and the location I uh, objective ID here we're going to do is strange object. And the objective ID could be literally anything you like, totally up to you. Um, so we're going to leave it as quantity as one and leave that as it is. So hit save and we'll close up. Now at the moment in our game we are not displaying the objective IDs or objectives on our quests. So we need to make it first of all display the objective here and also display it inside here. So let's go ahead and create the UI widget for our objective. Let's go into wizard, user widget blueprint view and do quest log uh, entry underscore objective. Because each objective will be its own little widget because we're adding them in dynamically. So let's open this up and this one's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be a horizontal box with a checkbox and some text. So let's do a horizontal box. And we want to use a checkbox and some text. And obviously, you need to sort out the styling of this. So, this text block here, we're going to make it vertically aligned. So, it lines up with the box. You're going to change the size of it. So, we bring it down to 16. And we'll make it, uh, uh, we can leave it bold if you want actually, but we can do whatever you want with that really. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of padding to the left of this too. So on the left, we're gonna do 20 padding. So, and with this uh, one on the left here, we're gonna do 20 padding again, the checkbox there. And the checkbox, we also change the size of, if you wanna go into the style, you can mess about with that. Add images, do what you like to get custom stuff if you want to. But we're going to make sure that this is ticked as variable and uh, we're going to name it. So check is complete. And this would be text for description. Okay. okay, so with those two things set as variable, we're going to go over to the graph now. And inside the graph on the pre-construct, we're going to read a bit of quest data. So first of all, we need a variable for quest data. So we know what quest this is for. Quest data. And we're going to, actually, let's change it to objective data. That makes more sense. Objective data. There we go. Objective. And you'll see in there, off, or F objective details. Click on that. We make it editable and exposed on spawn. On the pre-construct, we're going to take out objective data here and we're going to break it open. And you're going to see the name, description, type, objective, all that stuff. So on the pre-construct, we're going to take out the text description. And in there, we're going to do set text and do a format text. Now format text allows us to put parameters inside of our uh, our uh, text description. 
And you put a parameter in by using curly brackets. So you put in a curly bracket here. Oh, a type pin would be helpful. Curly bracket there. And we'll put in description. Close curly bracket. Space. Curly bracket. Current. Close curly bracket. Forward slash. Open curly bracket. Quantity. So if you've got to get five items, you can display zero out of five, two out of five, four out of five, whatever you want in there too. The description, pretty simple, goes there. Current we don't have yet, but quantity would be the quantity in there. But now current we can just leave alone. And that is that, that'll go into there. As for the checkbox, we're gonna leave that as is, uh, but for, actually we'll drag it in, but we're not gonna need to set anything to it just yet. Um, until we do the saving uh, progress type of stuff. So in here we're going to do uh, set uh, check state and just leave it unchecked. Well, save. Okay, so now we need to generate that onto our quest log. So let's go into our quest log. Okay, so in our quest log, we've already set this up last time with a section for our objectives. This is a text field. We're going to change this text field here to a vertical field. So we're going to right click on this and do replace with vertical box. Now we've got a vertical box there. We're going to tick that as variable and we're going to call this one objective uh, box actually. Box underscore objectives. Okay, so let's go over to the graph and we're going to go find our display quest event. And in here, you can see we're getting the stages and we're getting the objectives and we're getting the first stage. So with this objective array, we're going to do a for each loop. Plug it in. And then from that array element, we're going to create our new widget we made. Choose it from the list, objective widget, plug in the data. Then we're going to add it to our objective box. Drag that out and do Add child. There you go. Now, the one thing you want to do when you're doing this is you want to clear this box every time you display a new quest. Otherwise, it's going to keep adding more uh, objectives to it. So at the very start of this display quest here, you're going to move it along, drag out the box objectives, and do clear children. That will just simply remove all the children widgets inside of it. So you don't get duplications and upwards stuff like that. Okay, so let's take a look at that in game. Go up to the thing, keep get the quest, open up the quest log, click on the quest, and you can see here we've got interact with a strange object, basically zero out of one. Okay. Now we are missing it in one place, and that is on the initial quest givers window. So let's open up the quest giver. And you can see objectives here, and this works exactly the same way. So I'm going to replace this with our vertical box. And we're going to name that vertical box there. Box. Oh, wait, hang on. Wrong place. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, box underscore uh, objectives. And we'll make sure it's variable. Go to the graph and we want to on the pre-construct up here take our objectives out do a for each loop and plug in what we just did again create widget choose our objective plug in the data you're going to add it to our box objectives add child Now we don't have to clear children with this one in particular because this is only ever going to show just one quest inside of itself. So we should be fine out with having to do that. So if we go up to our character, the E, you can see we've got the objective now, now shown. There we go. Accept. Go into our quest log. And there's objective there. And there we have it. We can now display our objectives on both the quest log and the quest giver screen. In the next episode though, we're gonna work on actually ticking off these objectives. So we're gonna talk about how the system works and then make that all reflected inside of the widgets themselves. 
You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can watch all my videos early from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.